How many out there are like me? You listen to your music at all the volume. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be Cody Johnson. It could be NWA. It could be uh, Kane and Ivy. Whatever it is, it's loud. I like to listen to it all the way. Problem with that is, you can't hear your car talking to you. Nacho here. He's been talking to me. And I haven't been listening. Let's see if we can't get her squared away. But first I gotta get these wheels and tires off here. That was easy. Let me tell you. We got some issues. Apparently he's been talking to me for a hot dang minute. But uh, with the other side, I'll show you what I got, show you what we're doing. Let's go take a look. Listen. Oh yeah, oh yeah, she uh, that's not good folks, you can even see, I don't know if you can see, can you see the heat spots, holy smokes, what's going on here, I don't feel any deep grooving or anything, so I think we're just down to the squealer, so I thought it was coming from back here, I thought it was coming from back here, even J-Dub said it was Oh, it's coming from the back. This is one looks okay. Ah, uh, see the pads. I can't see them. But this one looks all right. That one looks okay, but <sighs> oh, yeah, this one. That's no way, no. We definitely got to get that sorted out. Let me show you what I got. So a few weeks ago, I went to Summit Racing. Picked up a brake kit because I heard it a couple weeks ago. But it didn't sound like that. But then I heard that on the way home this week. So let me, let me show you what I got. Let me show you what I got. This is what I got. Price of mites noise out here. Maybe we'll ride on this diesel like it's cool. You know, these folks are building houses. But anywho. Back to what we're doing this is the brake kit i got I got a power stop brake kit this is this is the kit number k6562-36 this is for the front and rear so this is the front kit and it, God, oh my goodness it comes with the i got the what did i get z36 or yeah there it is I got the Z36. This is supposed to be supposed to be good for trailering and I guess truck stuff. And then I got the sort of the, the Z36. This kit comes with carbon ceramic pads, and it comes with oh my goodness, get out of there! It comes with these drills slotted vented rotors you can see there you can see here it's front oh my goodness there God, Nola. front passenger side and then the front driver side in there as well uh, same thing with the back back same pads same pads same disc drill slotted I also did, I picked up this POR15 caliber painting kit because I had the idea, I was going to go ahead and clean these ugly, these ugly calipers up, paint them blue. Now you could get a kit, they, they do sell a kit, it comes with uh, calipers, but it's stock calipers, and they're red. I don't want red calipers. The thing on my truck is red. So I figured blue would look good. Cause it's gray it's got uh it's got a metallic in it sometimes it looks kind of purple sometimes it looks kind of blue so i thought that would look good but then i'm thinking i don't really like these calipers i don't want to show off these stock calipers they don't look all that good so if anybody out there knows 
can you can you put six piston calipers on these? I know maybe you can retrofit some Camaro or some Corvette Brembo calipers on there. Anybody ever done that on these trucks? I don't know. If you have, put it on the comments. I'd like to know. I'd like to see that. Maybe I'll go look it up later. But GM does sell a kit for the trucks uh, with six piston calipers, the big brake kit. But it's like $2,500. I don't want to spend that. Maybe once I get a uh, nacho lifted way up in the air and put big tires on it, maybe then. But right now, I think this will be just fine. But let's get these uh, let's get these brakes swapped out, and uh, well, let's get this one off here. Let's get this one off and take a really good look at it. I bet that those pads are pretty wore out. So let's do that. Don't paint my fingers. What in the... Good night. I don't look too bad. This is definitely on the squealer. Look at that. Did you see that? Look at that. Yep, there's your problem. This one broke off. Something. We're getting rid of these anyways. Ah, oh, dang it. I gotta take this whole stupid thing off. This whole bracket's got to come off. Come on. These were a booger. I'm out of breath. There's one. You son of a... Ooh. Come on. Ah. All right. Whoops. And take better care of that now we can get this bugger out of the way pull this off oops i got one left reverse now ow back side looks okay there's a couple of heat spots on it some heat spots there it looks alright. Get that out of the way. And get a new one on. And get these services all cleaned up. And get our new one on. Get our new one on. Good enough. Good enough for the girls I date. All right, new rotors on. Ooh, wrong way. New rotor is on. I replaced these boots. These little boots. I put the new ones on. This kit come with new boots. Also come with new clips. About oh, eight of them. But these, you see where just kind of chiseled it out. Once you get an edge under there, or get it lifted up, I just use a screwdriver, they pop right out. And these, I just tap back in with a little, I get a little finishing nail hammer, like for furniture and stuff. Just kind of hold it over and tap the edge in. It goes in pretty easy. But, let's see. So here's the old clips. And where's that bad one at? Look at these. See how those are. Look at that one. That one got rubbed through. These are these edges are gone. I don't know what's going on with these, but 
you get two different you get eight of these clips and see they're kind of shaped a little different from the side profile see they're shaped differently you want to make sure you get the one that's shaped the same this is the old one here's the new ones shaped well, let's see here here we go see how this one's shaped different this one is shaped different than this one this edge right here so we're not using those we're using these let's put her back together well there is that one done my caliper on got a bracket pads are in everything's greased up she ain't squealing now that's good now we gotta do the back one we'll get that back one done and then uh i guess uh i think it'll be a wrap once we get the back one done and these don't look bad and this is the one I could have swore was making all the ragged. But it wasn't. It was that one up there, apparently. But uh, this one looks okay. We're going to go ahead and break this one down, too. And uh, get it off. I already took these, these little, I don't know what they're called, little brass clips on there. I already got them off. Got them out of the way. Get this caliper off. You get the idea. Those got to come out. I already got it all off. That took a few minutes. This one. Uh, where is it at? This bracket. These little suckers right here are spinning. So you just had to put a 3 16 13 16 13 16 on it and hold it. But I got it. I figured you guys didn't want to see my fat boy struggling with putting taking bolts off but I got it off here here's your parking brake everyone's seen the, oh, that dirt mice these these shoes look pretty good and the inside here looks good so everything back here looks normal so I'm just gonna clean it up and put it back on this back the back they didn't come a new didn't come a new uh, boots so I guess we're reusing those boots they look fine the others look fine too Oh, and the pads. The pads look pretty good. Wasn't touching the squealers yet. Everything here looks normal. I guess it was just that one. It was making all the racket. Well, let's get her put back together. And then, uh, jump to the other side. Oh, wait, no. Those are tight. Here's tight. Turn it off. Score demise. Clean it up once. Just in case. That's it. That's a wrap for front and back. Now I just gotta do the other side. And it's gonna be just like this side, so I'm not gonna show that. Done with well, done with that. Fifty percent done. So I'll get the other side on. I'm gonna do that real quick. You guys take a break. Won't be a break for you guys. It's really gonna be just some editing. I'm gonna do that side. I'm gonna go wash my tires and wheels because uh, I washed the truck finally. It's only been months since I washed it. I got that wash yesterday. But I didn't do my wheels and tires because then I was taking them off. And I want to do the inside. And I want to get them all dirty. So I'll get that done. And we'll put it back on. And then we got to go bed them. Without getting a ticket, I hope. So. Uh, be right back. Well, we got her finished. And things have changed. Most notably, my beard's gone. Well, so I did the brakes on Friday. And then... 
Saturday we had a wedding to go to. So I shaved it. Well, I didn't shave it because we had a wedding, but. I'm really good at growing a beard, shaving a beard. Just not very good at trimming the beard. So it's gone. Um, but, uh, yeah, we went to a wedding a couple hours south of us on Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. And then we had to bomb up to Lake about three hours north of there on right after the wedding. And then we came home this morning, hung out with some friends at the, at the lake. Got home this morning or this afternoon, actually. And started editing my video and I noticed I don't have an outro. Forgot to forgot to film the outro the other day, but um, yeah, we got her done. We got the got the brakes bedded in that same night. Didn't get a ticket, but I probably pissed some people off behind me. <laughs> I just threw my flashers on, and just let her rip tater chip. Uh, so those that don't know, when you bed these brakes, you gotta according to Power Stop, you need to five consecutive zero uh, forty to ten mile an hour aggressive stops. Then you gotta do five. 35 to 5 mile an hour stops and you got those uh, consistent or not consistently pretty uh, I don't know what you were back to back to back to back you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about got to get those brakes those brake pads heated up and I guess it's to leave some material on the, the rotors themselves and you can't stop you got to do that uh, and then once you get those last five in then you just drive around for five no, delay, no less than five minutes uh, but we got all that done, which one road in and out up, up here to get out to this neighborhood. And I didn't see people behind me, but it is what it is. But they, we got everything on there. And let's take a look here. And uh, everything's on there. You can see the, the road is everything looks good. But uh, what was I saying? Yeah, anyway, they, uh, yeah, I really like them. They're good. They stop really well. Big difference over the uh, big improvement over the the stock one. So, I guess that's it for this. Uh, that's a wrap for the brakes on not show. So, got him all got him all cleaned up just in time to get him all dirty again. So, yeah, he's filthy again. Just bugs over the windshield. Oh well, that's life. Uh, so hope you guys enjoyed it. What I'm going to do the next one. I guess uh, in the meantime, I'll just turn it down just a little bit every once in a while. Just so I can hear what's going on. So, again, if you guys liked it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, leave your comments down below. Again, if, you, if you've if you ever heard of anybody putting, uh, you know, like these Brembo brakes on these trucks, let me know. Leave them in the comments. Anything else? Constructive criticisms? Attaboys? Whatever you like. Put them down there. But uh, in the meantime... We'll roll with you later.